Before I make a solar charge controller, first I decided to use a commercially available solar charge controller. This is the CM3024Z solar charge controller from China which I will be using today. I will check the efficiency and will see for how long it remains functional. In part 2 of the solar charge controller, I will show you how you can make your own high amps solar charge controller with wireless battery voltage monitoring and automatic disconnection system. While in this episode you will learn how to connect solar panels in parallel and how to set up a solar charge controller. Without any further delay, let's get started. The solar charge controller and solar panels purchase links are given in the description. Before I start the connections, first let me explain what is a solar charge controller and why we need it. A charge controller or charge regulator is basically a voltage or current regulator to keep batteries from overcharging. It regulates the voltage and current from the solar panel going to the battery. Most 12 volt panels put out about 16 to 20 volts or even more. So if there is no regulation, the batteries will be damaged from overcharging as most batteries need around 14 to 14.5 volts to get fully charged. Each solar panel is 150 watts. These panels are connected in parallel. The positive wire of one panel is connected with the positive wire of the other panel and similarly the ground wires of both the panels are connected together. As you can see I have connected a cable with the positive and ground wires. This cable will be connected with the charge controller. The solar charge controller contacts are clearly labeled. This is where we connect the positive and ground wires of the solar panel. Over here we will connect the battery positive and ground and over here we can connect a DC load like DC room coolers, DC lights etc. Now let's start the wiring. Connect the positive and ground wires coming from the solar panel with the positive and ground contacts labeled with the solar panel sign. As you can see the two wires from the solar panel are connected. Now let's connect two wires for the battery which later will be connected with the battery positive and ground. So as you can see solar panel wires are connected and also the wires from the battery are connected. Now it's time to connect the charge controller with the battery. So now you can see these two wires are connected with the battery. You can see currently the voltage is 13.5 volts. The connections of all the charge controllers are almost the same. Difference can only be in the extra features or the load capacity. In part 2 of the charge controller, I will make my own solar charge controller. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.